Hey y'all, so what is up? I know it's been a minute, but I am hitting y'all with a hair, wig, lace frontal install tutorial type of situation. Okay, so right now this is her hair freshly washed um, and blow dried. And at this moment, I am just braiding her hair back. So I just do simple braids going straight back. I do about um, eight, no, I'm lying. I do maybe about... Yeah, well, okay, about 8 to 12 braids on every client's head, depending on, you know, if they have a lot of hair. You just really just want the foundation to be super flat. That's, like, key to a seamless and a good install. The, the foundation just has to be flat. Those braids have to be nice and neat and just, you know, looking right, okay? Oh, and before anybody tries to come for me, okay, I do not get dressed to do my client's hair. I do not look cute to do my client's hair only because for me it doesn't matter how I look as long as my hands are working fine and as long as I am slaying these wig installs who who cares what I look like okay just a FYI you know at this moment me and the home girl we just chatting it up we're just talking because I like to talk to my clients they're going to be spending a significant amount of time with me, about two hours with me when I do their hair. So it just makes sense to have conversation, you know, like, so we just be talking about everything, the whole rundown, you know, but I like to make sure that my clients have a good time while they're in my chair and that the experience is good for the both of us because I do not like to be stressed while I'm working. I don't like attitudes. I don't like negative space. Like, I don't like anything negative so i make sure i greet them very positively and we just go from there you know once you greet someone positive with good vibes and great energy they're you're almost 100 percent certain that the rest of the time together will be a good time and that is what i aim for with each and every client okay so now that we got past the braiding part, now it's time for the wig caps. So I order wig caps off of Amazon just because they come in bulk. And I do so many um, people's hair. So it just doesn't make sense for me to buy the two packs. Like I literally get in bulk, maybe like 20 or 30 um, packs. And it lasts me a very long time. And they're actually cheaper than buying just one wig cap in those packs. So yeah if you are a hairstylist and if you do a lot of clients then definitely invest in bulk hair caps so at this moment i'm using my got to be free spray and we're just going to lay down the cap and you want to use free spray or maybe glue as you guys can see the front of her hairline is a bit white that's the actual glue so i wouldn't line her whole entire cap with the glue but um just the part where i feel like needs to be a little bit more melted which is more so always the front wherever their part is going to be so the free spray definitely helps with adding a little extra hold to that and we just sit her under the dryer for a few minutes and while she's under there i just go ahead and prep the wig so y'all let's get into the wig details okay this wig is actually from nadula hair um you guys know nadula i'm sure they are a very well-known hair company they have so many different wigs so many different styles textures all of that and you know they supply a great quality um wig company so this is their mixture of brown and blonde highlighted wig i believe this is a 24 or a 22 inch and um, the knots were already bleached, obviously, because the hair is brown, so the knots itself was brown, but I did go in and lighten the knots as well. So after I finished plucking the hairline, um, I just went ahead with the glue, and I'm using the Bold Hold Active, and I'm just using a popsicle stick, but before I did that, I did wipe her skin off with alcohol. That is key. You want to make sure that you're removing any um, excess oil or build up on the skin so that the glue can actually stick for as long as it should so with this client i definitely used about four layers of the glue and
Yeah, I told y'all, we just be busting it up. Like, talking about any and everything just cracking up, okay? <laughs> so, I do believe this is maybe the third um, layer of the glue. And I like to use popsicle sticks just because I feel like it's very sanitary like using the rat tail comb on every client like one it just gets messy because you have to keep reusing it you have to keep wiping it off the popsicle stick it just does it for me it's so easy and like i said it's sanitary so on this last layer i did go in with the um uh the hair erica j lace me down i forgot the hold me down yes adhesive and I just did one layer of that to top it off because her glue is very strong. And I feel like the bold hold isn't as strong as the um, Erica J glue. So I do feel like just using them or mixing them will create an even stronger hold. So right now the wig is on and this is the most important part. You want to make sure that you are placing the wig right where it needs to be and then you want to just ask your client to just hold the sides of the wig while you go ahead and just press that lace into the glue massage it in do whatever you can use a comb um a blow dryer to melt it in all of that type of stuff that's exactly what you need to do you need to apply the pressure so this is also another thing that you can do you can use an elastic band to wrap the lace down so that it can you know kind of sink in and melt into the glue so it can create you know like a more melted look so at this moment we're talking about her parting situation <laughs> she did not know what she wanted to do she normally does a middle part but she wanted curls so i'm just like well if you're gonna get curls then girl come on let's just go all out and let's do a side part she doesn't really do side parts she was a little nervous but um yeah i kind of talked her into doing it she said girl just go ahead just go ahead do what you want to do so i'm like all right and it was her birthday so we gotta get sis right so while the band is on the lace doing its job i just find other stuff to do so that it can have more time by melting it um so at this point i'm just carving out her part just to make sure that you know it is where it's supposed to be because i like to do the parting before i do the baby hairs because i don't know you never really know where your baby hairs are gonna go until you have seen the part like you know what i mean so you just want to make sure that everything is kind of even for the baby hairs to lay exactly where they're supposed to lay so right now i'm just going in and flattening out that part so that everything can be nice and flat and seamless that is the whole point of the braids being so nice and neat okay because we do want everything to be nice and flat and we can definitely do that because the braids were nice and neat so then i just take a little piece of the hair that is on the lace and flip it over to cover up those tracks on the pre-made wig so if you guys want um any more information on this wig you can go ahead and check the description box down below for all of their information um the link to their website the link to the wig all of their discount codes and everything will be down in the description box below so another big shout out to nadula thank you guys so much for you know doing what y'all do <laughs> So at this point, I am just cutting a little bit of highlights, a little bit of highlights, what? At this point, <laughs> I'm cutting a little bit of um, layers, that's the word I'm looking for, layers, into the wig. Um, I mainly focus on the front when I cut my layers just because I feel like that's where the body needs to be, that's where it needs to frame the face, like that's the most important part. Y'all, the relief she felt when I took that band off. <laughs> okay, so now we are going in with our razor comb and I am just cutting the excess lace off. And as y'all can see, it's already melted, honey. Okay, do y'all see that? Can y'all even find the lace? I don't think so. That is what you want, okay? That's how you want your lace to look. Bomb, 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 yes. So remember what I was saying about the part already being parted and then you just have a better sense of where to lay your baby hairs? This is what I mean. So the first baby hair was right there up in front of the part and 
right now is just asking her how she'd like her baby hairs i always ask my clients because you never know a lot of people do have preferences when it comes to baby hair so it's very important that you do ask your client get their input so that you're not doing something that they can't keep up with after they leave you very important so right now i am going in with the razor and i'm just cutting the hairs because obviously your baby hairs cannot be the length of you know the wig i absolutely not there's no way so um we're cutting it and then we are going to curl these bad boys with a flat iron so it's, it is also important that you have like a mini flat iron because you cannot do this with a big flat iron you're going to burn your client and the both of y'all gonna be mad okay so just take your time when you're doing this part because again it is heat and it is right up to their skin so just be careful um and this is a, a new trend you know we never really used to do this but you know i definitely see the difference in doing it it definitely adds more of a curled look to it it looks a little bit more uniformed it just looks nice i love this little trick and i don't know your baby hairs just always come out looking popping when you curl them before so it's a yes for me i definitely love this trend so now i am going in with a little bit of the nairobi foam on her edges so remember before when we used to do lace installs and we used to drench the whole hairline with the foam that there's no need for that okay so literally what i do now if i am going to use the foam i'm only using it on the baby hair itself like i'm not putting it on the hairline i'm not drenching it because i don't want it to lift and i don't want to rush while i'm doing this either so it just makes it easier for me to just only apply it on the baby hair so i don't have to worry about that so now i'm going in and i'm tying her hair down with one of my lace bands as y'all can see, it says it's Chica Lee's Artistry. And then I'm going to apply the elastic band over top of that to add more pressure to it so that it can definitely melt a little bit better. All right, so now it is time for styling. And I'm using my Conair, I believe, um, curling iron. My Babyless one actually broke. Like, it just... I don't know it's been through a lot so i had to get a new um curling iron and this one actually works pretty good and it's very inexpensive so and if you didn't know babyless actually makes all of conair's flat irons so if you really think about it they're kind of like the same flat iron same brand really just you know made by well made by the same person just different names um so yeah so this part is actually nothing special. I just spray some product on the hair, some heat protectant and another form of heat protectant, the Chi one. And I just go in and I curl the hair. That's it, that is all. All right, so now that we are almost done curling, um, I'm just making sure that the top of her hair is covered and you're not seeing any tracks. And yeah, I feel like the top is always the most important part. And it just adds, it just makes you feel like, you know, you're almost done. So you wanna take your time, especially when you're at the top. And yeah, look at that curl. And then we're gonna head over to the other side. And I'm going to curl that last piece at the top. This is going to be the end piece. This is going to be the master piece because that last piece right there is what's going to make the front of the hair have that flip. 
So the top of the hair is definitely important. And if you want, you can actually pin curl the top or you could just let it drop. Um, so right now we're going to reveal the baby hairs. We're going to reveal the, how the hairline looks after you wrap it. And after you put that mousse on it, this is how it looks. So as you guys can see, everything is looking really nice. And yes, everything just looks nice and melted. Yes. So right now, the key, what we have to do is just make sure that everything is combed out because you don't want it to look um, flat. So I know that you guys can see like the little line of demarcation in the front of the hairline. Um, we want to get that out of the hair. So we're definitely going to need to go over that area with the flat iron, not the flat iron, the hot comb. And for the baby hairs, I do like to go in with my tweezers, maybe recurl them just to um, give them more of a sleek look. So the reason why I use the mousse first is just to give it that form, right? So then sometimes I might need to recurl it and then I'll use some Gorilla Snot just to hold it down in place so that the baby hairs don't move too crazy. And you don't need a lot of the Gorilla Snot, especially if you follow all the steps like the baby hairs are already formed they're already in their place so you just want to hold it down literally just keep it where it's at and that's the whole point of the gorilla snot um and then i'm just going over the hairline and just sleeking everything down so that everything looks pretty good and we're going to do the same thing to the other side Yes, keep that thing nice and flat. All right, so now it is time for the comb out. This is my favorite part. I love to comb the hair out because it just makes me so happy when I see the finished results. Everything just looks so nice and effortless. And I don't know, this is definitely my favorite part. And also, it reminds me that we're all done. You know <laughs> and before you know it, my clients are like oh my goodness that was so fast yes girl yes it was mm, look at that curl look at the color definition in the hair they did a great job coloring this hair so yes I absolutely love everything and she absolutely loved it as well um, yeah I think I did a good job. If you think so too, then leave a thumbs up and also leave a comment down below in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to your girl's channel if you haven't already. Um, but before we go, today's motivational quote is, before you ask God for what you want, thank God for what you have. So thank you guys again so much for tuning in and I will see you all in the next one. Bye. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Put this side behind you.